नमस्कार आई सरेशा वेलकम यू ऑल टू टूडेज एपिसोड ऑफ माई नोवाक विद गुरु जी नौशेर वेर एन हील आंसर ऑफ यू क्वेश्चन गुरु जी वी हैव अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम समीर कुमार ही आस्क वेन आई एम डूइंग साधना इन अ क्वाइट प्लेस विद माई आईज क्लोज एंड सेंसेस डिसंगेज वाई डज माई माइंड वॉन्डर यूजिंग माई मेमोरी और माई इमेजिनेशन दिस ब्रेक्स माई फोकस on my sadhana or meditation can you please guide how to stop my mind getting engaged in memory or imagination while doing sadhana yes it's the natural tendency of the mind to <clears throat> either go back into your uh, past which is your memory or go into the future which is your imagination obviously now uh, there's a very simple technique to overcome this and effective technique which i have been using and i have taught other people to use uh, first you got to set a goal what you want to do basically when you sit for sadhana or meditation you want to go into what is called the theta level of the mind which is the brain frequency between uh, 3 and 7 which is lower than the sleep uh, frequency which is between 7 and 12 so when we want to go to the uh, uh, theta frequency or the turi avastha turi avastha that should be a primary goal to achieve that the first thing that needs to stop is mental chatter or talking to the mind you know till you keep talking to your mind there is going to be no meditation of any significance so you got to learn how not to talk to your mind that is practiced okay now after that the next step is to turn inwards and within your body see because when you want to when you want to go into a lower frequency the moment you focus even slightly on something outside then you cannot enter that uh, low frequency so you have to turn your mind inwards your attention inwards in the initial stages of course so a you could concentrate on your breath or on any internal uh, you can say f- uh, 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 function of your body but breath is the easiest and the most uh, uh, you know uh, convenient to concentrate on so normally people say concentrate on your breath now again what will happen is that your mind after a few minutes will start to wander this is where you have to bring some form of divinity or some aspect of divinity and try and merge with it when you merge with that you are a focused on that divinity and slowly your mind kind of focuses on a pinpoint so you don't let your mind shift from that 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 focus on divinity whichever form of divinity you want to you got to feel the oneness with that so it is like a mental merger you know like you are that entity that entity is in you now how will you feel what will you think so as that you your mind you know doesn't want to roam around ultimately you have to bring down your thoughts and you know uh, in in the sense bring down in the sense uh, r- let them be random thoughts that come and go even if they are of that divinity let them come and go don't chase them just let them pass by very soon you will find that your brain frequency is fallen you feel sleepy that's the time when you shift to turiya avastha and it will happen almost automatically if you don't fall asleep so as the uh, uh, brain frequency falls and if you don't fall asleep you automatically go into turiya avastha this is where you achieve your target of a good meditation or a good sadhana guruji if you have a question by gajendra varma yeah how does one deal with reflex negative thought meaning some negative thought comes for somebody even for my guru when my heart and soul absolutely rejects them and is disgusted that it should have come to me 
<laughs> See, mind is a rascal. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a wild monkey that can jump from anywhere to anywhere. And the more you tell your mind not to think of something, it will purposely think of that, just to irritate you. And that, that's the very quality of the mind, the lower mind. Uh, but there is one short, I would say shortcut here. And uh, it's a very simple one. The moment you get these reflexive ne negative thoughts, which are uncontrolled, start chanting any powerful mantra, which you know, or which has been taught to you. Now, I have taught so many powerful mantras to everybody. Just start chanting those mantras, sometimes even a little loudly, and you'll find that within seconds or minutes, the, those negative thoughts just get thrown out. So that is the quick fix in, in, in a situation like that. Guruji, we have a question, an anonymous question. When I know my Guru is behind me and I have nothing to fear, why does my mind dwell on fear and insecurity? Yeah, uh, fear is extremely, is an extremely strong emotion. It, it, it never really leaves a human being. You can say that. Uh, but as you evolve and progress spiritually, as you take a guru, that fear is supposed to reduce because the very fact that you have a guru means that there is a certain level of faith and surrender. And that itself should be your insurance policy. So, yes, fear will come. I'm not saying a person can be devoid of fear completely. But when you know that your guru is behind you and you, you have an empowered guru, that is, I think to a very large extent that fear should leave you. Otherwise, your your faith in the Guru is incomplete and your surrender is of no use. So, the more you increase these two, uh, 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 fear and insecurity will uh, fire, take, a, take a back seat or will take a beating. Thank you for joining in today's episode. We'll see you in the next episode soon.